smoked alligator. Those have to be the laziest escalators I've ever seen, how small they are. So I made my flight, it's about 6.11, probably boards in about 10 minutes. Uh, airport for some reason was super, super busy this morning. Glad I was able to get through really quickly. Excited to hear we can get on this plane and get to New York. That's Venus. Why do you have a fur ball on there? That's a speaker. Did you bring that to happy hour? Two hours later. So Janice is asleep right now. She has to work tonight. She works night, so she'll be sleeping for a little bit. It's really rainy outside. It's a nasty day here in New York. And get ready for when Iris, Janice's sister, uh, my sister in law comes home. Uh, I think we're probably going to go out to the city and go do something, hopefully, if the rain stops. I'd hope to make it down in, into lower Manhattan, but uh, with this rain, I don't feel like leaving right now. So I'm going to take a quick nap. A few moments later. So I just woke up from a nap. And I need coffee really bad. French press. The best. Smells really good. Really good coffee. Well, it finally stopped raining and the sun came out. Hopefully it'll start cooling down. Uh, in the apartment, they turned, they switched it over to heating mode already. But it really ain't ready for heated mode yet. It's really stuffy and warm in there. I had to get out of the house for a little bit. Uh, figured I'd go walk over here to Costco. Just walk around. Just get out of the house for a little bit while there's still some daylight. Iris should be home pretty soon. We'll probably uh, go into the city and go do something. Probably go grab something to eat. So it should be fun. So this is Socrates Park where they put up... Uh, little art exhibits from a local artist. Sometimes there's some really weird stuff in here. Sometimes there's some cool stuff, but really awesome little park. Great place to bring dogs and everything. And, and they have a um, farmer's market here on the, on the summer. There's also uh, um, movies in the park. So it's really nice. And right now it's a little flooded, but it's usually really nice out here. And of course you can't beat the view. Sometimes some really weird stuff is here.
like a lot of heads of Christopher Walken sticking out of the ground. Time to head over to Costco. <laughs> You know, now that I live in Jacksonville again, people always ask me, you know, if I miss New York. And part of me does. Uh, there are definitely some things that I do miss, like being able to walk everywhere. Uh, at that same time, it's kind of a, a burden because you do have to walk everywhere. But there is, you know, public transportation. Uh, I think the thing I miss the most is probably, you know, the food, any kind of food you want, any kind of ethnicity, they have it here and it's really good. And there's always something to do in the city. The city literally never sleeps. Um, you know, there's always things to do, whether it's, you know, a show or a concert or a festival, you know, or if you want to just go to the bar, whatever, they always have something here. The downside though that I don't miss is how expensive it is, how crowded everything is, and I hate driving here. Driving here is on a whole nother level. It takes a special kind of person to be able to drive in this city. You have to have a lot of patience, you gotta be defensive and aggressive at the same time. And there's things that you have to do here when driving that anywhere else would get you a ticket. But everyone here does it and you have to do it to get around because the streets are so small they can't expand anymore you know one thing you know I learned when I got here I got like three tickets right away for things either I did or didn't do and it was very frustrating and even you know now when I drive around here I quickly reminded how much I hate driving in this town but there are a lot of upsides you know, the change in the seasons is really nice. Florida doesn't really have that. You know, here you got, you really have four seasons. And you walk around. I love wearing winter clothes and scarves and gloves and walking around when it's cold outside and doing things. It's nice. But in Florida, you know, it's nice, sunny. Cost of living is a lot less. Your family and friends there. So there's a trade off on both. Okay, bye. Have a good day at work. What, what, are, what are we about to taste here, Iris? <laughs> what is this? Kilbegan. Kilbegan? I don't know how to pronounce it right. Irish whiskey. Only can get it in Ireland. It's a limited edition. Her and Janice just went to Dublin and came back with a bunch of whiskey. And this is one of them we're about to taste. We got this at the Celtic Whiskey Shop in Dublin. You want to see? Smells good. Smells good. Cheers. Slancha. 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 That's actually that's really smooth. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not harsh at all. Mm -mm. All right, so we're going into the city to grab something to eat, and maybe Chinatown. Shake. Just had the poke bowl and where are we now? What is this called? Ta takayaki. Oh yeah, takayaki NYC for some ice cream. It comes in a fish bowl. Fish. Wow, it's really packed. It's really packed. Yeah, that looks like if you drop it. Looks good though. The matcha. 
with the custard, condensed milk, and the mochi and wafer. And then, so, and then one, it's chocolate lip. That's what you get for watching YouTube. That was her fault. We were watching YouTube. <laughs>